Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome into Talking Pittsburgh today on Tuesday, October 19th. Hopefully, you all had a wonderful day out there. Uh, enjoyed uh, the nicer weather and yeah, ready for the week with uh, more weather and cold coming. So, just be ready for that. Uh, today, we got a good show for you. Uh, we'll be uh, recapping or previewing the next uh, fire. Uh, community safety event coming up on Wednesday with Adam Dorn uh, that'll be in our digest today and then we'll also be talking uh, with uh, the flu shot and the booster shot for COVID-19 with uh, Thad Schumacher from Pittsburgh Family Pharmacy and talking about uh, their efforts in uh, doing all of those things getting shots out and administered uh, for the vaccine the booster come uh, that is available now and of course your flu shot because it is that time of year as well, so we'll be talking to them. But first, we do have some headlines, and I want to start with a, a venue change for the uh, community safety event coming up on Wednesday for the Pittsburgh Fire Department. And this will be now held uh, same time, but it will be at Little John's Kitchen now, which is 5302 Verona Road. So this venue has changed, so make sure you don't go down to uh, Jamestown Hugo Park. Uh, we are at um, 3202, 30, wow, 5302 Corona Road at Little John's Kitchen from 5 to 7 this Wednesday, October 20th. Uh, again, we'll uh, be in the digest and just remember this because this was uh, already uh, taped a while ago. Uh, so they will have the original dates in there, but it, it or the original venue in there, but it is this new venue. Uh, so please be sure. Uh, of that and to remember that. Also we have the trick-or-treat hours coming up for Halloween this year and they will be 4 to 7 on Halloween uh, October 31st on Sunday and get out there and enjoy uh, some trick-or-treating through your neighborhoods with your kiddos. Making sure you stay safe and stay uh, warm as it might be cold this weekend so be uh, ready for any type of weather and make sure they uh, maybe have a flashlight on them as it is dark uh, by the time it hits 7 o'clock so uh, even 6 o'clock it, it's going to be getting dark so make sure everyone is safe and uh, enjoy the time here in Fitchburg with your Halloween um, your Halloween trick-or-treating alright also we have uh, the South Sain Road uh, road closure continuing. Uh, we have a new closure that is just south of Wild Heather Drive uh, and that is closed starting today uh, through the 26th of October. The road will be closed to complete the hill cut south of uh, Wild Heather Drive. Uh, so please use local routes while the construction is in place. So here's your uh, route to get around that and uh, be sure to be ready uh, and, and the closure dates we will keep you up to date if anything changes and you can also see here this is where it is actually taking place and the red is where the hill cut will be happening so just be sure to detour around this and uh, it'll be opened up again on the 26th uh, assuming weather doesn't uh, impact that date change all right also we have uh, grab and go for ages 9 12 from the Fitchburg public library this is on Wednesday, October 20th, uh, stop at the Pittsburgh Public Library and pick up a fun grab-and-go activity bag, again for ages 9 to 12. Uh, they will be available at the children's section of the library. Uh, it's Wednesday starting at 9 when the library opens. Please limit one bag per person, and this is while supplies, supplies last. So get out there and get some uh, grab-and-go bags for your 9 to 12 year olds. Also, we have a story on snack time. A story on a snack, uh, pumpkins. Uh, visit the Pittsburgh Public Library Facebook page to access the video showcasing picture books about pumpkins and a pumpkin themed snack. So, this will uh, be available starting at 9 a.m. on Thursday. So, uh, stop on out to the Facebook page of the Pittsburgh Library and check out some, uh, some awesome story books about pumpkins. Very timely indeed. So, it yeah, looks like a fun time. Also, we have the recycling event coming up on November 6th. Uh, that'll be from 8 to 11 right here at City Hall. Uh, that event uh, will include uh, confidential paper shredding and recycling. 
uh, electronics recycling, and the med drop-off. Now, the med drop-off is normal uh, Monday through Friday, and they do stay open that extra day for the police department uh, to allow the med drop-off. So you can see here a map of where you'll be dropping off uh, these items. You can also visit our website for a brochure to show you what you can and cannot bring and the cost value of some recycle items, such as uh, TV monitors uh, have different costs uh, to recycle those properly so be sure to check that out all right that's going to do it for the headlines today coming up into digest we'll be talking with adam dorn uh, previewing uh, tomorrow's public safe uh, community safety event at uh, little john's kitchen you're watching talking fitchburg